was the Goats Against Fans. So now it's officially official that uh, the Redskins logo will be retired and the name's gonna be retired, man. It's, it, 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 it's, it's, a, it's a dull moment for us watching the football, watching the Skins fans, man. I'll always be a Skins fan forever, man. The memories will not be taken away. I'm telling you, man, the, the memories will never ever be taken away from me. I will still be a fan. The three Super Bowl rings are still there. Joe Gibbs, man, uh, Art Monk, the Fun Bunch, um, the Posse, the Hogs, uh, John Riggins, Doug Williams, the first black uh, quarterback to win a Super Bowl and win a Super Bowl MVP. You can never take that away from us. You can't take it away. Like I said, John Riggins, um, you can't take the memories of Clinton Portis, you know, dressing up as Southeast Jerome, uh, winning games back then in 2005, 2004. Sean Taylor, rest in peace, Sean Taylor. You can't take that away from us. You can't take away the magical year of RG3 in 2012, man. You can't take away the 2015 <laughs> win with uh, Kirk Cousins, you know, making it to the playoffs. So, I mean, you can't take away those things away from us. You know, you, you, you can't. It's still going to be there. It's a different name, a new era, a Rivera era. You know, but those memories will always, always, always be, always be the RFK Stadium jumping up and down. We still remember RFK, man. Even though we got a new stadium, FedEx, still Redskins fans after switching the stadium. You know, so Riggins, Art Monk, Doug Williams, Dexter, Dexter Manley, man, Charles Mann, all the Hogs, all the greats, man. Dar Shout out to Daryl Green, man. Uh, you know, he's been hated on. We we love Daryl Green. He'll he'll always be in the history books. You know, Joe Theismann, all the greats. Rest in peace to Joe Bugle. We have so much rich rich history and it's still gonna be there in my opinion. Some people think it's thrown away, but it's still there. You can still never we still have more rings than a lot of teams. Some teams don't even have a Super Bowl ring. You know, you got teams like the Eagles who finally won a Super Bowl ring. We still got three rings, so I'll still be you know, just like Dwayne Haskins said, you know, he's welcoming, he's welcoming the change, but it's still HTTR. So, man, always, I'm still going to keep all my gear, not throwing that stuff away, not getting rid of my gear. I'm still going to keep my gear, you know, forever, you know, and, you know, I don't know if I'm aware out and about, you know, I heard some people, somebody was in a uh, Boston airport and somebody was like, take that race to shake it off, you know. I don't want to get into a confrontation because it might end up ugly for the person who co confronts me saying, hey, take that stuff off. So, you know, I'm just I'm just going to chill on wearing it for real. I'll probably wear it around the house and whatnot, you know, for some of the games and stuff. But, you know, I'll probably I stop wearing it out and about, you know, I stop wearing my Redskins mask, you know, so I, I'm ready for the new era. I am, you know, it, like I said, it's, it, it sucks that the name is being changed, but I get it. You know, I understand, you know, if it's offensive to a percentage of people then, you know, you, you got to take it away, especially in 2020. Things change, man. It's 2020. You know, it's a new climate. Like I said, it's a new culture now in 2020. You know, like I said, they took it on Uncle Ben's on Jemima. Um, statues are being torn down. A lot of things are offensive are being torn down. It's being taken away. Anything, any stereotype, you know, like I said, I think chiefs should be changed. Indians should be changed. All that stuff. We And we've said that before in my live streams last week. So, but this news is not news to us. We we knew it was going to all Redskins fans. This, it might be news to like ESPN and and other places or whatever, but to us, we've been locked and we've been known the story of this. So this is really not news in my opinion. We we already know this is gonna happen. Now news is when they finally change the name. You know, when they change the name to Red Wolves or Warriors or whatever. A lot of people wanna howl, howl to the Reds, howl to the Red Wolves. That's what a lot of people are saying right now. So um, who knows what the new name is gonna be? Like I said last week, I don't care if it's Washington Cupcakes. I'm over it now. I'm over trying to guess what the new name is and an inspector gadget and all this stuff. You know, I heard um, there's a realtor in Alexandria. He trademarked a couple of names. I'll put them up here. He trademarked a couple of names. It's Red Wolves, Renegades, Red Tails, and some other names he trademarked. And they said the holdup on the announcement of the new name is that Dan has to settle some trademarks. He did not trademark Warriors. And, and Dan had that name apparently trademarked, but he the trademark is gone or something like that. So that's gone. So a lot of people are believing it's not gonna be Warriors. It probably will be Red Wolves or something else. So who knows? Dan could just change his mind. He could be like, oh, I wanted to be Red Wolves. Next morning he wakes up from his yacht. He's like, hey, I wanted to be Warriors or Renegades or Red Tails or whatever, or Diplomats, you know, or something like that. You know, who Natives, Braves, whatever. 
So I'm ready for it to be over. I'm ready to focus on football. We can't do that either because they just fired um, Alex Santos, Alex DeSantos, um, the director of pro personnel, uh, player personnel, the director of player person personnel. So he got fired um, for non-football related issues. So this is getting really messy and, and, and more dramatic. And the other, uh, Richard Mann, the second got fired as well. He was his assistant. Uh, pro player personnel director so he got fired both of them got fired for non-football related um, things going on so this is getting even more messier and it's like i said more drama who knows why they're supposed to be releasing the news on that sometime this week so we'll see what happens with that one uh i was trying to think what, was, what else what else crazy happened so they're trying to find that and then ron rivera and the redskins uh, that we did or dan did release the statement i wanted to see him go up and talk on the podium i knew that was gonna happen so he just released a little statement and um, he, they, it said basically Ron Rivera and Dan are working on a logo and color scheme and all that stuff. So Ron Rivera, like, like we already know, he has a huge input in it. It is crazy because he just got here. You know, I know they are asking some alums for help in, in, in choosing the new name and the logo. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Now they, and they just hired uh, a guy who played with the Redskins for 14 years as an assistant a player pro, uh, player personnel. So they just hired somebody to replace the guy they just fired. He he was with the Panthers, of course, of course, formerly, and now and he played he played with the Redskins for 14 years. I forgot his name. If you know his name, please put it in the comments. Um, so he's replacing the, one of the guys that got fired. Um, trying to think what else happened, but the the new name is supposed to be announced. Adam Schefter said it's supposed to be announced sometime this week, and then somebody else had a report it's supposed to be announced within 24 to 48 hours about two or three days ago so that's false so you, you just don't know what to believe you don't know what to believe so we'll see i can't wait for the new name to be announced so we can move on and focus on football hopefully we have a season um another memory i have as a redskins fan was when we beat uh dallas in dallas on monday night the monday night miracle man i remember my parents they went to sleep it was 13 nothing you know they went to sleep i stayed up and watched the game monday night uh, of course, they had school the next morning, and Santana Moss caught caught the two bombs, man. Caught the two bombs, a cowboy killer. I woke up in the morning, tell my parents, you know, I hopped on the bed. I was like, the Redskins won. And it was like, man, stop playing. You lying. Get out of here. And I was like, nah, they really won. And uh, I turned on the TV, so they won. It was a crazy moment. There's a lot of memories, man. A lot of memories, I'm telling you. A lot of, and like I said, they're not going down the drain. They're not going down the drain. They will still be here forever man um i miss going to the games i'm still gonna I'm, I'm gonna try to go to some games when they open things back up you know so um but it's crazy it's a new era it's a new day 2020 man it's a new decade a lot of new things you know chase young Dwayne haskins we'll see what the young guys can do if they can elevate this name elevate this culture this young generation that really wants the red wolves and if dan picks the red wolves it shows that he's actually listening to the fans he's actually listen to the fan base um something that he usually doesn't do i think he actually kind of listened to the fan base about bruce allen with the hashtag bruce allen fire bruce allen uh hashtag so hashtag red wolves was trending in maryland dc and virginia yesterday so uh, i think it's still trending right now so we'll see if, if dan listens so um you know let me know what you guys think about it are you guys ready for the new era for the new name or <laughs> i know a lot of people are not so um, like I said, I'll still be a Washington fan, whatever it is, man. I just want to see some W's, man. In my lifetime, I haven't seen a lot of W's, haven't seen a lot of playoff appearances. So it, it might be time for a change. It really might be. So, um, you know, I know the name isn't going to bring wins, but hey, like I said, it's a, it's a different culture, a new era. You know, I'm ready for it to start. Let's go, man. I'm, I'm believing in Dwayne Haskins, believing in Chase Young, believing in Ron Rivera. So, you know, I'm just trying to keep a positive attitude about this. So, you know. All right, y'all. Hell, man, I will be going live tomorrow at 7 p.m. As always scheduled, I am getting a P.O. Box address. So um, if you want to send fan mail, I'll be reading it uh, before the video starts or towards the end of the video. I'll be reading fan mail. I'll give you a shout out if you send fan mail or um, a lot of people have wanted to send me gear and send my son gear. He is turning one years old, one year old on August 5th. So if you want to send gear, you know, he's one year old. That's the size you got to get him. Um, and then me, I'm an extra large, so you know, like I said, you send fan mail, that's cool. I'll, I'll read it and whatnot. So, and shout out to my channel members, appreciate y'all. All right, y'all, hell, hell to them Redskins for one last time. Don't shed a tear, y'all. Don't shed a thug, or if you want to shed a thug tear, it's all good, man. Pour some, pour some liquor out, man, and all that stuff, man. It's all good, man. Hell, hell to them skins. Peace.